At a staging area in the central highlands near Pleiku, a ground control officer coordinates the loading of UH-1D helicopters as units of the 1st Cavalry Division prepare to jump off on a search-and-destroy mission against the Viet Cong. The assault choppers lift the air cavalrymen to landing zones Kim and Amy, some 70 kilometers northwest of Pleiku and about 100 meters from the Cambodian border. It is 11 April, and the first phase of Operation Mosby is beginning. At landing zone Kim, the immediate mission of the first wave of troops is to secure the area for subsequent sorties. While a perimeter defense is being set up, mortar crews lay their weapons. A smoke grenade is used to signal the second wave of cavalrymen that landing zone Kim has been secured and that it is safe to land. The units have drawn no enemy fire, and as the troops hit the ground, they move rapidly to the perimeter of the LZ, leaving the center free for helicopter traffic. These troops will hold the LZ for the next few days so that other units probing the jungles around it will have a secure base upon which to rely for quick support. The overall mission of this battalion-sized operation is to set up ambushes near the Cambodian border and to disrupt the suspected B.C. buildup of men and materiel in the area. The patrols, however, were routine. Other than the difficult terrain, one of the greatest challenges was to locate an adequate supply of usable water. There was no contact with the enemy by the elements filmed. And after three days of fruitless probes, the units gave up the search and pulled back to the Dark Hodrai River, where they began clearing a sandbar for a three-ship landing zone. As the Hueys touch down, the cavalrymen rush aboard and will soon be making their second assault landing within four days. From this pickup point in Kontum province, the units are evacuated to landing zone Joan, which they will secure to support battalion forward operations in the new area. As the first phase of Operation Mosby nears its end, there has been little contact with the enemy, but a considerable amount of DC equipment and ammunition was captured. After the new LZ is secure, the units are resupplied before continuing their patrol. Several days later, on 21 April, other units of the 1st Cavalry Division move out of their base camp at On Kay to begin the second phase of Operation Mosby. This part of the campaign is directed against an area in Pleiku province, some 25 kilometers northeast of the town of Pleiku, in a region where U.S. forces have never before operated. After landing zones are secured, Chinook helicopters begin shuttling in rations, ammunition, and other equipment to keep the using units resupplied. At one of the forward LZs, artillery crews quickly lay their lightweight M-102 howitzers and begin firing a mission in support of an infantry unit that is pushing 2,000 meters to the north. Meanwhile, the commander of the brigade-sized force discusses the situation with subordinate commanders and his S-2. On the following day, 22 April, a captured D.C. suspect is brought to a forward CP. The prisoner is fed and then turned over to a Vietnamese intelligence officer for interrogation. After detailed questioning, the captive points out on a map an area where Viet Cong might be holed up. The suspect is bound, and plans are made for an attack against the suspected B.C. stronghold. With the bound prisoner in tow, a company moves out to investigate the information. Early in the march, a grass hut containing about 1,000 pounds of rice is located, but there is no sign of the Viet Cong. The hut is burned to the ground, and the company continues its search of the area. Soon after, 
the company comes upon a village that appears to be abandoned. The unit holds up at the edge of the jungle while the CO deploys his platoons around the cluster of thatched huts. The houses are far from deserted, and all the villagers are soon assembled for questioning. Although the inhabitants deny any involvement with the VC, there is disconcerting evidence to the contrary. A clump of bamboo spikes is found, such as those used by the VC for fungi stakes. Also, there is a suspicious number of able-bodied adult males present. After much questioning through an interpreter with negative results, the suspected guerrillas are culled out and then marched away. They will be airlifted to a battalion CP for interrogation by a Vietnamese intelligence officer. Then the company leaves the village to continue its search of the area. At a battalion CP the following day, 24 April, the commander of the units participating in Phase 2 of Operation Mosby arrives for a report on latest development. This extensive four-day search of an area 20 by 30 kilometers square has produced no significant contact with the enemy. 